but bear with me. Look, close your eyes, look 30, 40 years into the future. Um, take that back. We're going to start, look 30 to 40 years into the past. Mm -hmm. I grew up a Clemson fan. All I heard about is good old Danny Ford running the football mm -hmm. for the Clemson Tigers and how we need to get back to that. And you look at football today, and you know, I didn't watch a lot of old football, but you look at football today in college, you see spread, you see some triple option, you see power or pro style. And so, and even in high school, if you look at high school, it's more so, uh, there, there's a bigger variety than, there definitely is a big variety than there used to be. So based on looking just at patterns, you look 30, 40 years down the road, the road, there's the coaches who are coaching now, Belichick, gone, um, Andy Reid, gone, et cetera, et cetera. You have a new uh, influx of coaches, if you will. Um, uh, and on top of that, the penalties, uh, the concussion protocols that have gone in, uh, into place in the NFL, you know, people think it'll be quote unquote flag football at some point. You know, I feel like just based on a younger generation of thinking, you'll see more spread gimmicks, if you will, spread offenses. I don't think you'll see a triple option. I think that's a little bit of a gimmick in and of itself, but uh, I don't think the pro style is on its way out. I don't think you'll see the end of pro quarterbacks just as you have Stanford uh, quarterbacks at Stanford, quarterbacks at Alabama in college, but I think the future of the NFL 30, 40 years down the road, once you get all those new minds in there, I, I think you're going to see a lot of spread, and I, I, I don't think every spread offense is centered around a mobile quarterback, but I do think if you're going to run a uh, a fluid spread offense, you're going to need the top of the line mobile quarterback, and so I'm not, I, I don't I'm not disagreeing with you by saying that pro style quarterbacks are on the way out, but I think if you look far down the road, you'll see a, a more ver a variety of things. Well, two things on that. The first one being uh, 30, 40 years down the road, we may not have an NFL for whatever reasons. Um, I think it's a little bit more realistic to look maybe 10, 12-ish years down the road where the young kids now are going to start getting into the NFL. Um, those kids... I, I don't know what youth football is like. I mean, you put good athletes at quarterback just because that's the person that touches the ball every time. Um, but I think just because you have a spread offense, it doesn't mean you need a mobile quarterback. This being because a spread offense is about passing the ball. For the most part, you spread the field, you get crazy routes, uh, you try to screw up the other team's secondary, and um, the same concept still applies. In the NFL, you're facing the most superior athletes and these guys know um, these guys know route trees on defense and they make windows that are this big in college even smaller in the NFL and I think uh, just as you're getting more and more spread like more teams are running the spread even like Peyton Manning with the Broncos this year he's the most traditional quarterback I think I've ever seen as far as like drop back or whatever he's he started to change the game himself and now they ran some kind of funky system that he struggled to keep up with. Uh, I mean, they didn't really win a Super Bowl because of him, but they won a Super Bowl. But Peyton Manning is perhaps the least mobile quarterback in the league, and they're still running it with him because he's just a good thrower. And the, that is very true. I um, I think another tendency to take a look at, and you know, this this also has a flip side to it, but you're seeing more teams interested in going after the mobile quarterback. Um, such has been, you know, noted that they didn't pan out, but Tebow, Menzel, first rounders, Marcus Mariota, first or second overall pick, you see teams are very quick to jump at that running quarterback. Maybe, and maybe they don't have uh, as long as a longevity period as a, a pocket passer may have but you know if you're trying to win right now and you can find a mobile quarterback with who can fit it into at least let's say three-fourths of the windows that he's trying to throw into or however many he needs to then you know that might become the new trend you know I've seen yeah. teams jump at those type of guys there's uh because Mariota is the newest mobile quarterback that we've seen in the NFL uh 
the thing is, like you say, you you see teams going after more and more mobile quarterbacks. I don't see that. Um, Mariota, I mean, he's won. The last one before that was maybe Newton, Russell Wilson. Um, it, they're not that frequent, I think, because NFL scouts see them in college and they say, oh, they don't have the arm. They don't have an NFL arm. And um, I, I'm... I'm a little optimistic about Mariota. I didn't watch him so much, but I mean, he plays I, for the Titans. Well, yeah, <laughs> I had him on my fantasy football team, thinking like he's going to be, um, like nobody's going to know what to do with him. It's his first year in the league. Nobody's going to have any idea what's going on with this guy and what his tendencies are. And he's just going to light teams up with rushing yards and rushing touchdowns. And he really didn't run the ball that much. So, I mean, the Titans were still bad, and that could be because he's just not a great thrower, but. You can tell just from like looking at his stat lines that he's not running the ball as much, and I think his coaches are doing that partially to protect him and partially to uh, develop him into a passer. Um, but I just, I personally don't see any reason why teams go after mobile quarterbacks either, because, like I said, if you you can say that there's maybe one and a half successful mobile quarterbacks in the NFL right now. One is Russell Wilson, and the half is Cam Newton. Half because he got to the Super Bowl this year. Uh, he had an all right rookie year, uh, rookie of the year actually, better than all right rookie year. But the years in between then were kind of meh. There weren't anything special. Real um, quick on Cam, I, I've never seen a a quarterback, and you know I watched a lot of Panther games this year, probably for the first year in a long time. I've never seen a quarterback make so many accurate throws off his back foot. Cam's mechanics look like out of all the mobile quarterbacks. It, when he throws the ball, might be the worst mechanics, but mm-hmm. seems to have a lot more accuracy than a lot of other guys, which is kind of funny if you think about it. I I think the the back throw or the back foot throws that he makes are, is kind of um, people looking out for great plays. Like you can you can probably find just as many bad throws that he made off balance that were overthrown, underthrown, um, perhaps even an interception. Um, so I, he definitely does have a strong arm, and he can get the ball in the direction that he wants it to get to off of any foot, off of no feet, off of his knees probably. But it, it's just when he, when he has to like climb into the pocket a little bit because the pass rush is collapsing around him, and most quarterbacks are able to deliver accurate passes when they're like shifting their weight forward and driving the ball. And when Cam Newton does that, his mechanics are all screwed up, and he's just overthrowing people because his arm is just a little too sideways, and he, maybe he is just a little too strong for uh, his own good. Um, no, it, sorry, if you can go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. No, I was switching subjects. If you were to look at the future of football, and let's say it is here when mm-hmm. you know new minds start to take over the game, as far as mobile quarterbacks go. What do you think it will look like, and like, how do you see? Do you see more mobile quarterbacks? Do you see more mobile quarterbacks lasting longer or lasting shorter? Do you see the same as it is now? What do you What do you think might happen? I think the mobile quarterbacks like Russell Wilson, who is a baseball player, he has great footwork. He knows how to throw the ball different kinds of ways with different arm angles, and he can deliver. I mean, he has a strong arm. And he can deliver like quick throws, you know, without like winding his arm all the way back. Players like that, who um, they developed into a quarterback because of their natural throwing ability, instead of being an athlete, and then they were tried to be molded into quarterbacks. I think those guys are the ones that um, that can be successful. The only thing that stinks for Russell Wilson is he's so little, and. Um, Maybe that's part of what it is. You see guys like Vince Young, Kaepernick, and Newton. They're huge, and they're just freaks of nature, and they're like, we need this kid at quarterback just because he can run and nobody can tackle him. Whereas Russell Wilson, I feel like, earned his keep a little bit more when he was playing quarterback. Um, it, it's all about, it, it. like I said, it all goes back to just talent with your arm, and that's what Russell Wilson had, and that's why he's successful. And that talent is going to be good legs any day because the longevity uh, like you mentioned before uh, a 31 year old Cam Newton might be broken down because he's just taking all these hits and he might lose a step by then but I feel like somebody like Derek Carr or Blake Bortles 
or Andy Dalton when they're like 37, they'll still be leading their teams. Well, I mean, not Andy Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> they'll still be leading their teams deeper into the playoffs um, because they can they can pass the ball. And everybody's saying how the NFL is a passing league, and you see it how running backs are becoming less and less significant parts of teams' offenses. And it's just suggesting that there's more it's more and more reliant on passing. And if somebody is a good runner, that's great, but that's only gonna get you a few years. And you know, after you're done with him you look like the forty ers whereas the Bengals who have Andy Dalton, which is maybe about the same age as Colin Kaepernick, they they have Andy Dalton locked in for the next what, seven, eight years probably. See if you can win a playoff game. Assuming they can win a playoff game, yes. <laughs>